It's time to get those bodies, those bodies that we've always dreamed of. <laughs> what is up, my beautiful people? George Wohar here with your workout of the day. So today we're gonna do a five minute workout, all right? You can do two rounds if you want, make it 10 minutes. If you wanna push yourself, we're gonna do five minutes right here. What we're gonna do, is gonna be 30 seconds each workout, and we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 workouts, all right? Obviously five minutes, 30 seconds, 10 workouts. But what we're gonna do is gonna be a little different. We're gonna do high knees, then we're gonna go straight to elevated bird dog. And I'll demonstrate how you do that. I know it sounds a little complicated. We're gonna do high knees again. Then we're gonna do side lunges with a windmill. High knees again. Single hip leg hip raise. High knees yet again. We're just gonna throw high knees in between each workout. Reverse lunge with toe touches. Then one more time for the high knees and mechanical push-ups. I'll demonstrate each one of these workouts for you. Elevated bird dog is what this is gonna be. You're gonna be down on all fours. And you're gonna be reaching up the opposite foot and the opposite leg. Opposite foot, opposite leg. I mean, not opposite hand, opposite hand, opposite foot. Hand, foot, hand, foot. And we're gonna do that for 30 seconds. We're gonna do 15 seconds each side. Our next workout, which is going to be the windmill side lunge, it's gonna be simple, just like this. You're gonna be pushing your arms to the side that you're going to. So you probably know the side lunge, basically like that. We're gonna be doing a windmill with it. And switching sides. Windmill side to side, side to side for 30 seconds each. Next workout that we have is our single leg hip raise. It's gonna look something like this. You'll be pushing off the heel of your foot that's on the ground, one leg in the air, and you're just raising that hip. Straight on up. We have our reverse lunge with toe touch. You're gonna be coming back. Foot to hand, opposite foot to hand. And then last but not least, our mechanical change push-up, which is gonna be a diamond push-up. Do those till failure. We're gonna go a little wider, do that till failure, and then go even wider and do that till failure. You ready for this? I need 30 seconds. It's gonna be a good workout. Like I said, you can do two rounds if you want. Two rounds for everything for 10 minutes, or you can just do one round. I'm gonna do one round today. But by all means, you can always push yourself. You can do three rounds if you want. Let's get those knees up. Five more seconds, four, three, two, one. All right, right down elevated bird dog. Opposite hand and opposite foot. Tighten your core while you're doing these. You will feel that burn. Make sure to hold for a little bit. Tighten that core. Keep it going. Three more seconds. Two and one. Back to your high knees. Let's keep that body going. Keep those calories burning. Keep that fat burning. 20 more seconds. Get those knees up. I was slacking a little bit on that first one. Try to get those knees up nice and high. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Windmill and side lunge. You'll feel this in your legs. Go with this extra windmill. You'll feel the force. Make sure you're stepping out wide. You'll really feel that burn. You'll feel it in your groin right in the inside of your legs. That's good. That's what we're aiming for. We have six more seconds. Make sure you're throwing those arms. All right, back to some high knees. And our next move is gonna be single leg hip raise. Get those knees up nice and high. Feel that burn, tighten that core. You really feel it in your abs as well. Three. Two, 
One. All right, single leg hip raise. Like I said, push up the heel of your foot. It's on the ground. We're coming right on up. Make sure you keep that core tight. You don't want to arc your back. 15 seconds on this side. Tighten that butt. As you're coming up. Feel that squeeze. Last one. All right. Get those knees up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get those knees up nice and high. Yeah. 12 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 2, 1. Reverse lunge with toe touch. Whew. 15 seconds each leg. Make sure you get that leg down nice and low. Opposite hand to foot. 3 seconds, 2, and 1. Other leg. that foot up nice and high. You feel this burn. You feel it burning your legs. You feel it burning the rest of your body. All right. Back some high knees. We're almost done. Get these high knees out of the way. And we have our push-ups and we're all done. But like I said, if you want to do two rounds, if you want to push yourself even harder, do those two rounds. We got 14 more seconds. Get those knees up. Five, three, two, one. Now mechanical push-ups. We're gonna go till failure. Or 20 reps, whatever comes first. You can do them on your hands and knees, on your knees if you need to. If not, get up on those feet. And we're start with some diamond push-ups. Right on down. Two. Three, four, five. When you're doing push ups, make sure you keep that core tight. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's called mechanical change because you're changing the hand positions. Now we're going a little wider. This is like your normal, normal push up that we're doing right now. 20 of these. down nice and low. If you have to do them on your knees, like this, then go ahead. Last one, it's gonna be nice and wide. Ready, 20, 20 left and you're all done. Nice and low. All it takes. Great job. I know you stuck with me and killed it today. We're coming at it. It's our time to shine. This is your time to shine. It's time to get those bodies, those bodies that we've always dreamed of. Push through that workout. Five minutes. And like I said, do 10 minutes if you want. Push yourself even harder. That's it. That's all it takes. Keep working hard and aim high. We're in this together. Come on. But we killing them.